congratulations for making it back to another video by Ski Mask. Duets. I'm gonna make sure I, I fix it so my mom doesn't kill me. So today, as requested, a little bit of a more mellow video compared to what I've been uploading. We're gonna do a full day of eating because now I've switched my macronutrients and my calories over a bit. I'm no longer cutting anymore, thank God. Being lean is very detrimental to your power level. And my calories got as low as 1600. Hey yo, what the? During my cut, and it was pretty miserable. Strength goes down, energy goes down, all for what to look sick. Is it sick? Yes. Right now, my calories are about 2,500. And I put on a little bit of weight. I've gotten way stronger compared to how I was. I'm gonna show you guys a typical full day of eating. This is not what I eat every day. When you have more calories, you get a little bit more room to play with. It doesn't have to be as strict. That's the benefit of knowing how to count your calories, bro. Learn how to, learn how to use this. Trust me. So we're at 2,500 calories. I'll put the macros on the screen for every meal. Typically, I'll do like three or four meals and one pre-workout snack. That's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna see you guys for breakfast for the first meal. Oh, before we get into it, peep the young LA drip. You already know these shirts go hard, bro. I didn't know about this, but they're hella stretchy. This is sick. And honestly, I'm sorry. No offense, young LA, but I have to remove clothing because don't wear sleeves out here ever. How's the posing, bro? All right, I'll see you guys at breakfast. All right, so if you've seen my previous videos, then you know I used to, <clears throat> what the hell? If you've seen my previous videos, then you know, uh, I used to start the, every morning off with black coffee and I was a crazy caffeine addict. Well, I recently quit July 3rd and we are, hold on. Over three weeks of no caffeine, I'm gonna come out with a video for you guys, 30 days of no caffeine. I've been going strong, it's been insane. So now, I don't drink coffee in the morning, but if you do already fast and you want to switch to bulking, like probably the easiest way in my opinion to do it is literally just add breakfast. If you don't eat breakfast, like literally you're just adding an entire meal in during the day, which makes it a lot easier. You don't have to make other meals bigger. You just add a higher frequency of meals. I'm not going to drink black coffee anymore. I haven't been doing it. I feel great now, but I still like to keep my breakfast very simple and low effort. So if I don't make it the night before, I have something quick. So that way I could just get right to work because usually I do a lot during the day. So I like to just eat my food, get to work ASAP. So what am I having for breakfast? Don't roast me. The first thing we're gonna have this elevation protein bar. <laughs> All right, it's 250 calories, 24 protein in it. It's pretty damn good. And I'm gonna have that along with, I'm actually an addict to these Lunchables, bro. Go ahead, go ahead, roast me. Roast me in the comments, bro. Roast me, I still eat Lunchables. These two combined, 520 calories. I'll put the stuff on the screen and they're already made. All right, are, are they the healthiest things to eat? No, but I'm not hungry anymore so I can get to work immediately. I'll be having these two right here. A lot of YouTubers make these crazy meals, crazy breakfast, stuff like that. And you know, they take a lot of preparation, a lot of time. Not everyone has that time. If you wanna do that, that's cool. You wanna have fun in the kitchen. You wanna chef it up, then do it. I'm a simple guy. Okay, I don't, I don't need much when it comes to food. The benefit of not always eating crazy meals too is your taste buds become hypersensitive. So if you ever do go out and eat a crazy meal, it feels like so much better. It just tastes so much better. So anyways, keep things simple. If you go to my bedroom, you won't see a single painting on the wall. I don't need extra things in life. This is gonna be the breakfast. I'll see you guys for the pre-workout. Usually it's just a cluster of carbohydrates. Sup bro? We're gonna hit a, a pre-workout meal meal kind of small it's literally just all carbs and what i have because i'm gonna hit legs today some pieces of fruit so we have an interracial banana here this is about 100 calories i'm gonna have that and also i have this container of chili mangoes but i'm not eating the whole thing because these are extremely dense in calories literally each strip is 100 calories they're just covered in all kinds of sweet stuff i'm doing that on purpose not to be healthy i, I want the sugar from you know the fruit because that gives me a crazy crazy pump in the gym there's a trend that everyone eats like a rice crispy before they work out right that's a big one uh it's it's always it's the same same reason literally just the, the fast digesting carbs will hit you pretty quick and you'll get a nice pump you'll have a sick workout me specifically when i do this i hit legs i have veins flowing out of my arms too like i literally get an arm pump so this is my favorite combination two slices of chili mango and a banana i'll put the stuff on the screen it's like 300 calories i'm gonna go train legs i'll see you guys back here for the post workout meal now that we're done training legs so i meal prepped this already and it is actually the same exact meal from when i was cutting yes that's correct you guessed it you're so smart 
so smart, genius. Look at you. You go, okay? Such a genius. Everything looks the exact same in the bowl. It's really funny. But it's literally a bag of cauliflower rice, which is 100 calories, and seven ounces of raw chicken breast. And I started doing this thing where instead of meal prepping all my meals, I kind of like having only some of them prepped. So this is one of them that I prep, so that like the other half of the day is kind of like miscellaneous. Throw it up in the air, you know, what I want to fill in my calories with. This is a staple though. Seven ounces of chicken breast and a bag of cauliflower. Now what I'm gonna do is throw some Bermans on it. When you're in doubt in life, you don't know what to do, always just throw some Bermans on it. Right here, 70 calories for one serving, which is a good amount of barbecue sauce. So I'm gonna put that all over it. And I was feeling freaky today, so I got this coconut water. It looks pretty gas. And the whole thing is 120 calories. I'm gonna drink this with the meal. Thank you. Comment if this happens to you. Sometimes when I work out really hard, really intense, I just don't really feel like I'm that hungry until hours after. Like immediately after, right now, it's been like 45 minutes since I finished legs. I'm not starving. So this is like a normal size meal for me, about 500 calories. We're gonna smack this and then I'll see you guys for the meal after that. Quick pro tip for you guys. When you finish eating, I know a lot of times you, you have to go do the dishes and stuff, but I actually found this out recently. It's a lot faster if after you eat, you just take your plate and you just go like this. I don't know, try, try it out for yourself if you want to, but I, this is what works for me. Anyways, I'll see you guys at the next meal. Yo, this angle goes way crazier. Look at this. What? What, bro? In the light? What, bro? The next meal is also a past staple from my 1800 calorie full day of eating, and I did use this a lot when I was cutting. So the cool thing about lean bulking is you could literally use the same foods, but just in higher portions. So what I was doing during the cut for this meal, but it's gonna be egg salad sandwiches, right? When I was cutting, they were egg white salad sandwiches with less slices of bread. I'm gonna keep the same low calorie mayo. I'm gonna use more yolks. So I actually hard boiled eggs earlier. Look at them, look at these babies. I know they're gorgeous. We're gonna use five whites and three whole eggs instead of straight whites. So that basically, we're gonna get more fats from the yolks, higher calorie intake, etc., with not much higher amount of food. So I'm gonna have this, and with it, literally the same bread I was using in the past, 45 calories per slice, fit and active multi-grain. Again, I'm pretty simple. I don't need like some fancy bread, like some people out here need like brioche, whatever it's called, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna have six slices of this with the egg whites and the whole eggs. I'm gonna turn it into a egg salad sandwiches. I'm gonna use right here the best. Locale mayonnaise, baby. What would complete this meal? Obviously, you can't just have egg salad sandwiches. You can't just have it by itself. We're gonna have to have, what is that? Who's familiar with this? Sparkling water. Sparkling water. Are you afraid of bubbles? You scared of bubbles? You don't. Real rich men drink sparkling water. I don't like sparkling. And after they get in their bugatti and drive down the street, yell at women. So if you're not drinking sparkling water and you're scared of bubbles, look, literally the sparkling water out angles me. Hey, you're telling me you don't want it? Good for gains, bro. We're not scared of bubbles out here. We're gonna Andrew Tate this and comment down below if you're a top G or if you're a bottom G. One thing I really enjoy about this meal though is a lot of times during a busy day, cutting the egg whites, preparing them takes a while, but it's fun to do because it's like one of the little things that helps to keep me present during the day. I think it's it's fun to do, even though it takes a while. It helps me stay present. If you have anything that you guys do that helps you stay present, etc., let me know down below. That'd be pretty sick. So I'm gonna time lapse myself preparing it just because it's fun. We're gonna take this nice mixture, six slices of bread, and can't forget sparkling water. I'm gonna eat this, get my Bugatti, drive around a bit, and then I'll see you guys for the next meal, which I believe will also be the last meal. So one cool thing about not cutting anymore, mustache reveal, your hunger levels go down. So 2,500 calories seems like a lot of food to me. When I was at the end of my cut, 2,500 was like, one inhale of oxygen. I could eat all that in one sitting easily. But now that my hunger levels have chilled, I usually have around four hours between meals now. Before I would struggle to make it to three. You know, a few more hours from now, I'll see you guys for the last meal, which is also very simple. Stay tuned. All right, so to end off the day, the last meal of the day is usually always a, a toss in the air. Like it could be anything, you know? And so to fit today's macros, I'm gonna be having three of these breakfast pita sandwiches, these are. Because breakfast for dinner always makes sense. Breakfast for dinner 
makes you a sinner. Feel free to roast me in the comments because I'm not chefing up ground beef and vegetables and a bunch of stuff like that. I'm gonna have three of these. This is how big one is. And that will conclude it. I am for whatever reason a fan of frozen foods. As you saw earlier with the Lunchables, the protein bars, are they the healthiest thing for you? No. That's why I mix it up. I do like half and half. I just had a bunch of eggs. I had cauliflower rice. I had chicken. I always have chicken breast. You know, I had coconut water. I'm getting new micronutrients from other stuff during the day. But the other half of my meals, I'm mixing and matching them, you know? So that should be about 2,500 calories. I'm going to put all this stuff up on the screen somewhere for you guys to see. But on this, we'll do this side. Let's look at it together. Oh, wow. Wow. 2,500. Whoa. So that's pretty much going to conclude today's laid back video. I hope you guys got an idea of what you can eat or what not to eat. Honestly, I don't know at this point. That's like about 50% accurate of what I eat daily. The two staple meals I always have are the egg salad sandwiches and the chicken and cauliflower rice. The other stuff, mix and match. And honestly, it's kind of nice. It's convenient because there's some variety. It's, it is easier to eat the same thing every day, sure. But I can't always prepare. And if you live a fast lifestyle too, you know, sometimes you just don't get around to it. And that's why counting calories is so beneficial and why I tell everyone when they DM me, how do I do without counting calories? I'm like, it's, it's gonna be hard, bro, because honestly, knowing the numbers, knowing the statistics, numbers don't lie. Give me the numbers, Mason. You want the numbers, Mason. Okay, you guys all played COD, I'm sure, dude. So the numbers, Mason, when you learn the numbers, then it makes a lot of things easier. You can just plug and play, plug and play. And that's important because in life, a lot of things are not gonna work out the way that you want them to anyways. And you gotta be able to adapt and pivot, do something else. You know, what are you gonna do? Next time you pour cereal and there's no milk, are you just not gonna have cereal? Or are you gonna just man up and just put water in the bowl and just eat it like that? So you gotta always be willing to do something different because it'll help you in the long run. We just passed, we passed 30K subs, which is crazy. I wanna say thank you guys so much because you know what? It's really nice to have such a supportive community because I can open the comment section anytime and I think I get one out of a thousand comments that are negative and it's insane because I, I used to watch social media a lot before this and I would just see how many toxic people were on there and stuff and commenting hate. And when I started uploading, I was like expecting that. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get hate, I'm, it's, it's inevitable, but hasn't really happened. I think I'm so proud of how positive of a community that we've built already. And we, I mean, we're just getting started. 30K is an astonishing number, but what happens if we get to 100K, a mil, stuff like that? I'm very grateful to have high quality, high class people in my community that respect themselves. They have dignity, they're polite, they're positive. They wanna uplift other people. That's what the white pill is all about, bro. That's the message here at White Pill. Anything is possible, anything you wanna do. Don't be a negative Nancy. Lift other people up. Don't shit on someone else's dreams. Go after yours. Lift other people up around you. It's just so nice to have the uplifting community behind your back because for a long time, I felt like I had nobody, you know? At the end of the day, all you need is yourself, but it's nice to have other people that stand behind you, which is sick. Appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. I'm gonna keep trying to come out with bangers. I have some ideas coming up. Without further ado, if you liked the video, please leave a like, leave a comment. I asked you guys to comment like six times during this video, honestly, so you probably already did. Press the subscribe button, turn on the bell notifications, or don't do any of that if you don't want to, that's also fine. This is Ski Mask Duets, I'm gonna sign out here. Let's create the best version of ourselves to give to the world. Peace.